What? Oh, the Rangers and Canes are done? All right, who are we playing? New York? Bring it on. Everybody and welcome back to the Built Report. Where today we're going to be previewing round number three, the Eastern Conference Finals, where the Tampa Bay Lightning will be taking on the New York Rangers. So, without further ado, let's get into what we can expect to see during this series. Starting off with the series schedule, the Lightning will have a pretty normal schedule, which I'll put up on screen now. It'll start June first on Wednesday. Game one at 8 p.m. against New York Rangers in New York. And then, of course, game two is on Friday, June 3rd, also at 8 p.m. Then when the series shifts back to Tampa on June 5th, game three is actually at 3 p.m. And then on Thursday, June 7th, game four will be back to the normal 8 p.m. time slot. Then we go back to New York for a possible game five. That would be at 8 p.m. And then back to Tampa Bay once again for game six on June 11th, also at 8 p.m. And then if a game seven is needed, we will have a two-day break in between game six and seven. But game seven would take place on June 14th in New York at 8 p.m. So a pretty normal schedule for the most part there for the Bulls, that two-day break, only the biggest difference uh, from a normal, just every other day schedule, but all things considered, no back-to-back, so nothing to complain about there. Taking a look at the previous games for the Lightning and Rangers, they battled each other three times during the regular season, and the Rangers won all three of those. Rangers won the first matchup three to four in the shootout, and then Rangers won the second one for nothing, a shutout in New York. And then the third one back at Tampa Bay again, the Rangers won that one two to one. Now, Vasilevsky was not in net for that first game, that three to four shootout loss. And two of these games, obviously one goal game. So while the Rangers did have the upper hand on the Lightning the regular season, as we all know, regular season basically means nothing when it comes to the postseason as the lightning have shown firsthand in the playoffs and we've seen in many other sports as well take a look at the saints and the buccaneers the saints had the buccaneers number in the regular season not in the playoffs though and the lightning have been a different team ever since game six even uh came around even to the playoffs in general so the team the lightning team you saw playing against the rangers and struggle against them is not the same team and this series should be a tight closely contested series and i expect to go long looking at the statistics for these two teams they are pretty evenly matched some have some advantages in certain areas though starting off with the power play the lightning 22.9 percent on the man advantage Meanwhile, well, for the rangers 32.5 percent they had a lot of success against carolina in that second round as for the penalty kill lightning 87.8 percent they were near perfect against the florida panthers and then meanwhile for the rangers 80.5 percent so lightning with the advantage there in the penalty kill as for goals four it's pretty close lightning with 3.27 goals four per game rangers with 3.43 rangers with a slight edge there as well as for the goals against this is where a lot of people will be talking about the difference maybe between these two teams lightning with a 2.45 goals against average meanwhile for the rangers it's a solid three goals against per game and that 2.45, largely due to the Lightning and their shot blocking ability, and Andre Vasilevsky, who we're going to talk about in just a second. Bottom line with these teams and these stats, a lot of things can change from series to series, but overall, it seems like it's pretty tight. Uh, the Rangers have a slight advantage in that power play department, but the Lightning's penalty kill is pretty good, so I expect those things to even out. And I expect the goals for per game for both teams to also go down, as both teams have two very good goaltenders in the back of the net. Speaking of goaltenders, they are my difference makers for this series. Andre Vasilevsky and Igor Shosturkin, both very good goaltenders. Some are even calling Shosturkin a Vasilevsky 2.0. Don't think he's quite there yet, and the numbers will tell you that, but let's take a look at what separates these two goaltenders. Vasilevsky with a 932 save percentage so far in the postseason, a 2.22 goals against average, and one shutout so far this postseason. Meanwhile, for Shosturkin, he says a 928% save percentage, a 2.68 goals against average, and no shutouts yet. He has played more games, having played both series going to seven games for the New York Rangers. There's no question that both these goalies can change the game for their teams and make huge saves when they need it. 
but the stats, just as they show, Andre Vasilevsky is on another level. Vasilevsky, especially in serious clinching games, is unbelievable. That's where his one shutout comes from in this postseason in that serious clinching game against the Florida Panthers. And if he gets in that position again, he will no doubt have no problem shutting down the New York Rangers once again. Will Shosturkin eventually become an Andre Vasilevsky? Uh, there's a good possibility that he does. But as of right now, until somebody dethrones him, Andre Vasilevsky is the goaltender and he gets a slight edge in this series. For the Lightning, the keys to the series, well, it's kind of similar to what we've been saying for a while now. The first one, stay out of the box. Please do not take any too many men on the ice penalty. As we mentioned earlier, the Rangers have over 30% on their power play. They are very good at taking advantage of team making silly mistakes. So if you can limit those silly penalties, the better. Don't want to give the Rangers a chance. They have a lot of good playmakers that can go out there and score lots of goals. So don't give them the opportunity to do that and take advantage and take a stranglehold on these games and series in general. The second key for me is get traffic in front of the net. Again, we mentioned Shesterk and he's a very good goaltender, can make lots of great saves. But if you get traffic in front of the net, take away his eyes, get some deflections even as the lighting have been good at doing that in the last couple of uh, games that should help be, Lightning find a way to beat Shesterkin and get some goals on the board. As for my third key, be ready for game one. Lightning have had an extended period of time off. I don't think that'll come into play too much in this series. The Lightning have been mentally preparing for a little while now for this series, but the Rangers just played in a game seven, as we saw with the Florida and Lightning series. The Lightning seemed to have a little bit more of an edge in game one against Florida. And some attributed that to Lightning have just playing game, playing a game seven. Either way, Lightning need to be ready to go and try to still want a New York in these first two games. As for my prediction, listen, I think this is going to be a tough series for both these teams. I think it should be another long one. It's going to be a defensive battle between these two goaltenders. And I have the Lightning winning in six. Quite honestly, the team that wins this is going to be the team that has the better goaltender. And I really do feel like Andre Vasilevsky is the better goaltender in this series, but only time will tell. The Lightning are a very, very talented team and on paper should beat the Rangers, but there's a reason the Rangers are in the Eastern Conference Finals. As many of the players will tell you, once you get to this point in the postseason, there's no more bad teams. There's really no bad teams in the postseason period, but as you get further and further, these teams are here for a reason. It's very rarely a fluke. With that said, though, I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments on this series. Let me know in the comments down below what your series predictions are or tag us on Twitter at Bolt Report underscore TV. would always love to hear what you guys have to say. If you did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one. And hopefully we will see you for another series preview in the Stanley Cup Finals. Go Bolts.